Uh, it it's like the most ex the most exciting thing for us right now is just that it's been generally snowing for like yeah. ten minutes. Ten minutes longer than ten minutes. Snow. Oh, yeah, the snow is Snow's fun. Ooh. Left me long ago. Um, welcome to the Right of Word podcast. I just walked across my room and my and stuck my head out the window and my headphones are still connected. Why is the call so long? <laughs> welcome to the Random Word podcast, a podcast where we talk about random words. What's our random word today? Literature. 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 Or if you're if you need an American pronunciation, literature. Ew. <laughs> literature. No. Literature. There are there are six definitions. Yeah. For the noun. It's another it's another baby level. It's another elementary level. So again, first graders, welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> they really are our audience. Yeah. Seems so. Um, yeah. Writings in which expression and form in connection with ideas of permanent and inner universal interest are characteristic of or central features as poetry, novels, history, biography, and essays. I did that, I did that all in one breath. <sighs> I'm out of breath. Well, um, we've also got various synonyms of like just bodies of writing or the profession of a yeah. writer or author. Yeah, you know things about authors. Yes, I do. Because <laughs> I <laughs> am surrounded by books constantly. Yeah. I have a couple of to... books. Are you reading any books right now? What book are you reading right now? I am. Let me go grab it. There's no reason for this, All right. but I'm going to anyway. Alright, I'll grab the book I'm reading. I am reading The Secrets of the Wildwood by Tonke Drak. I'm not entirely sure how that's pronounced, and I apologize. I'm reading Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Allier Sons. It's really good. I really nice. like it. Um, that sounds fun. Yeah, it's really good. Um, and I got I got the sequel as well when I went. I got it. Um, I went to Oxford, and I went to um, a mall in Oxford. It's probably the only mall in Oxford. It's in the college town. And um, we had really good uh, Thai food, Vietnamese food. We had Vietnamese food. Um, nice. It was really good. And then we went to a bookstore, and I got a bunch of books. So it was it was a great day. Um, Nothing better than going and getting books and food. Food and books, my beloved. I, I really like reading. Um, I don't have a lot of time for it. I like yeah. writing. I like reading. You need the time for it. Like, it's not... I guess you, there are audiobooks. What is your opinion on audiobooks? Do you like them or not? Uh, I don't listen to a lot of audiobooks, but I've been consuming more audio content recently, and I much prefer it to reading actual words, because I find I can do... I enjoy being productive while also consuming content. So I can still mm. do things while listening to my book, rather than having to sit down, read a book, while knowing I'm not doing anything else. I like the whole getting, like, sitting in a corner of, like, your bed and, like, having all the pillows and get really comfortable and then reading a good book. Yeah. Because comfort. Um, yeah, it's nice to do that, but when you have other things to do, you want to be doing those things as well as consuming your, your sweet, sweet literature. <laughs> your sweet, sweet literature. <laughs> literature no. literature no. i'm gonna make you angry this whole podcast for saying <laughs> that um <laughs> his profession is the same in Ang american and british english but well, literature, literature is very different literature <laughs> i mean to be fair we know people who would get more angry at you for saying literature shout out to big man if you're listening big man <laughs> you know Shout out to big man who will get very angry at Aubrey pronouncing literature. Literature. <laughs> Just for you, big man. Poetry. Oh no, poetry. <laughs> Do you like poetry? More than I like writing it or analysing it. Alright. Uh -huh. Yeah. Can live with that. <laughs> I just find, like, 
analyzing poetry is just the dumbest thing sometimes because it'll be the simplest word and it'll mean what like the literal meaning but somehow we have to find a metaphorical meaning and it's annoying does the bible count as literature i guess it does because I mean, writing yeah. and it's at any writing historical or fiction, um, so yeah bible is literature do you like nonfiction or fiction better fiction what type of fiction though do you like fantasy or do you like more realistic fiction oh um i mean fantasy is always fun because like i'm not entirely sure but just fiction any real life is a is depressing sometimes i guess so it's the escapism i suppose mm. see i'm not very i don't like fantasy which is why um for a big period of my life i really didn't i thought i didn't like reading um and it was probably only last year year before that i realized i just don't like fantasy books and when you're like 10 years old to like 15 that area of your life um the books that are most often targeted towards uh young adults um not young adults but like young teens yeah um because young adult fiction is fine yeah. um I, I have nothing against young adult fiction but young like teen fiction is all fantasy like think about like harry potter or percy jackson that sort of stuff and I didn't like any of that. So, yeah, I didn't like any of that. So I was like, oh, so I must hate reading. No, I love reading. I just don't like fantasy. Yeah. And that's something that I just, now I get books that aren't, I get, I like realistic fiction or um, fiction that's very, could be very close to reality. Yeah. It has like slight, like, elements of fantasy, but like not like overwhelmingly, like, like ooh. Magic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then I'll sit there and play D and D and be yeah, perfectly I was, happy. Yeah, I was gonna um, say D and D is essentially that. But D&D, yeah, like D&D um, is just fantasy with rules. D and D. Yeah, I like I like D and D though because of the element of interaction. Mm. Um, with a book, it feels like you're looking in. Yeah. Like I can watch a fantasy movie all day. Um, shout out to Disney Frozen. Um, <laughs> 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 no, shout- do they need a shout out? Probably not. I don't think we need to shout out Disney. Shout out. <laughs> Disney, our favorite Disney. small you company. Really get- <laughs> 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 yeah, but I I love like fantasy movies. I don't like Harry Potter. <laughs> I don't like the Harry Potter movies because. They're based on the Harry Potter books. And when it's something that's more well known for being a book, yeah. I don't like watching a movie because I know that people say books are better than the movie. Yeah, especially when there are people who think that you're not like a heavy quotations true fan uh, if you haven't read the books. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, enjoy and the content just... you want. <laughs> yeah, Harry Potter. It's weird because it's so gatekeeped for no reason. Yeah. Like it's one of the most famous book series in the world, probably if not the most famous book series in the world. Um, and it's unless Shakespeare so... counts as a <laughs> book series, but that's not even a series. It's not a series. That's just that's the author. Yeah, like Harry Potter is a continuous series, and everyone practically from the age of like seven and older probably knows of it, unless. Mm. I guess probably I'm I'm limited to an English speaking world, I guess. Yeah. So But even then I don't like, know how famous this is. Translations. Yeah. I don't know how famous it is in like Korea. <laughs> yeah. Um because who knows? Like is Harry is there Harry Potter in Korean? Probably. Pro- there's it's probably very famous, Harry Potter but... in every language because yeah, because it's very famous. Yeah. Yeah. It's just one of those things that you don't think about. Like, it's for how famous it is, it's weirdly gatekeeped. Yeah. Like, people, like, again, heavy quotations, true fans. Like, only like people that know every character's name and every character's birthday and so yeah. on and so forth. There's a whole, like, um, they use in universe terms 
to determine how much of a fan you are. Because there's, like... Yeah. They'll describe, like, they'll have, like, quote, pure bloods for people who only read the books. And, like, that sort of <laughs> system for people who saw the films and yeah. read the books or only saw the films. And it's it's stupid because it's the same content. Yeah. It's the it's same the same story. content. And I understand. I understand. When you read a book and then you watch a movie and they cut out a character or they don't portray a character how you thought of it, it can be underwhelming. You can think the movies are bad. But the movie is someone else's interpretation. Yeah. Like, if I thought of a pony riding chicken and you thought of a pony riding chicken, it might look completely different in our brains. Yeah, because everyone so... <laughs> thinks a little differently and everyone imagines things differently. Like, there are characters who you'll imagine as, like, oh, they if, if they're not physically described, you'll imagine them one way, and then in a movie or in someone else's depiction, it could look completely different. And then you question your own, like, image of them. They're both right, it's just different interpretations. Yeah, and... Uh, oh, I was going to say something, but I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Like, back to my uh, pony riding chicken. I could think the chicken's orange, but you could think the chicken's neon pink. It's, uh, it doesn't make my chicken less valuable than your chicken. Yeah, they're both but... just chickens. Yeah, they're both just chickens at the end of the day. So... The difference would be if I um, thought of the chicken as a duck, then that is not a chicken. Yeah. But then I can't tell you, sit here and tell you, like, you're bad because you don't... Because you can't imagine the if chicken. Someone made a... Yeah, if someone made a movie about a pony, pony riding chicken, and then in the, in the movie they changed the chicken to a duck, yes, the fan base would be very angry. But it's... Yes, the fan base would be very angry, the but fan base for this chicken. pony riding chicken. <laughs> yeah, this this hypothetical fan base <laughs> for this hypothetical pony need riding to write chicken. This. But you see, yeah, you see my my like my view on it. Yeah, like, they're close enough. Yeah, it's close enough. It's not wrong. It's just not how you thought of it. Um, yeah, Everyone maybe it would be better to say like a pony riding bird. Yeah. It might be better to say pony riding bird. But if they change it to like a dog, then that's a bit questionable. Yeah. Like, um uh, a wrinkle in time. I saw the I saw that movie, but my sister likes the books. Books? I wanna say it's books. It's a book series, but then a wrinkle in time is only one of the books, I think. Uh I let think. me look that up. what is it? Wrinkle in time? A wrinkle in time. It's pre- it's pretty famous. And Disney made a movie version. And we saw it in theaters, I think. It is a book now series. Now it's on Disney Plus, if anyone. Yeah, it's a book series. It's a, it's, it was in theaters, the movie, hmm. of just the first book. I think it's the first book. It might be like... I think it might be. It yeah. might be like a prequel. But it's the, first, it's, the, it's the first book that came out. And people really didn't... I think people didn't like the movie. I think. My sister didn't like it, I don't think. Because, um... They cut out a character, I think. I might be completely wrong. I'm talking out of, like, just distant memory. Yeah. Um, probably 2017 this movie came out. Um, and we saw it. I thought the movie was great. I've never read the books, though. So, um, but I'm pretty sure there was a character that got cut out. So, people didn't like it. Um, but, yeah, it's going to happen. Like, limitations in film are going to happen. And, um... Movies are always kind of based on books. Um, yeah, uh, it's rare like that it, things um, are entirely original when it comes to that. Yeah, like if you think of it, um, that was originally a book. Uh, Stephen King, yeah. Um, Stephen King, he wrote a bunch of like horror books. Yeah. And like a lot of them are made into movies. Um, and a lot there are some yeah. movies where people will think of the movie first and won't realize it's based on a book. Yeah. Whereas there are other things where they'll only have heard of the books and they won't realize it's a film. Yeah. I think it's funny that, um, I guess it makes sense, but 
it's never a movie that turns to a book. It's always a book that turns to a movie. Yeah. And I guess that's just, like, due to the time that we're in. Like, books, we have so many books from hundreds of years ago. And the film is only 100 years old, pretty much. Yeah, so um, there's a lot more content to make into a movie that isn't already a movie. Yeah. Yeah. And I wonder, like, in enough time, will that switch? Probably not, because books are becoming less popular. Um, because audiobooks and Amazon, mostly Amazon. Thank you, Jeff Bezos. <laughs> love, uh, love you, Bezos. Love you, Bezos. Um, but because of uh, services like Kindle and Audible, um, books are becoming less popular, like physical books. Um, yeah. So it almost like worries me that in 200 years' time, there might be a future without books. And that's just kind of sad. Yeah. Um, no more sniffing old books because they smell nice. <laughs> um, here's a question for you. Um, paperback or um, hardcover? I like paperback. There is a wrong answer. Well, I like paperback because there's less chance of it getting like, like the dust jacket of a hardcover book. They get damaged very easily. Um, All right, you're correct. I'm, I'm right. Um, a few. Because <laughs> holding, does anyone like holding a hardcover book? No. They're a lot more. They're so much more bulky. They're hard to like. If you were to bring it to school for reading or something, it's it takes up a lot of space. Yeah. They take up a lot of space, and if you fold on accident, if you accidentally fold. A paperback cover you could just fold it back yeah but if you accidentally fold a hard cover it's broken yeah i don't think that's a fold um, i think that's a break and with hardcover books they do last longer i guess um like they're also more expensive yeah they're more expensive they're and they're just kind of annoying. I don't like holding a hardcover book. I like holding a nice paperback book because it sits yeah. in your hands and it can shape to your hands. It can like yeah. So if you if you're slouching in bed, you can curve it around your hands, where it's yeah. much more comfortable to hold it if it's like straight. Yeah. Now another synonym for literature is history, information, and essay. And research and prose and like that sort of stuff. What's your opinion yeah. on like, um, ec academic literature? Uh, I think it's. I mean, I don't have a lot of knowledge on the subject, so this isn't a very informed answer. But I think it's all right. What about you? Yeah, in a way, academic literature is. Like, that's like textbooks um, at our level. Um, but at a higher level, that academic literature does just turn into nonfiction. Um, yeah. Because when you're little, <laughs> um, nonfiction books are, like, they have lots of pictures of, like, animals and stuff. Um, and, like, that's how I got taught in, like, probably first grade. Again, coming back to our main target audience being first grader. <laughs> we need to We're not say that. We're just at children. <laughs> yeah, that sounds dangerous. Um, just ha talk about our target audience being first graders, because it's not. Wait, our target audience um, isn't first graders, we promise. Yeah. Um, but yeah, coming back to like our target audience being first graders, in first grade, I got taught that... Um, I got taught that a nonfiction book has pic real pictures. So, um, like if you Google a picture of a zebra, um, you could see um, like a clip art, and that would be in a fiction book. Or you could see an actual picture of a real zebra, and that would be in a nonfiction book. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah. When you're little, your knowledge of books. Every book pretty much has pictures. If you're below the age of like ten. Um, because visual aids. Yeah, unless you're one of the seven-year-olds that reads Harry Potter. Um, 
And if so, you're a nerd. They do make their Harry Potter picture books, but they're like massive. Um, yeah. And they're they're all hardcover, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, you've ruined it. Yeah, you've ruined it. I'm, I'm not um, against pictures of Harry Potter, but you've made it hardback. Yeah. Also, you are not a I, nerd if you read Harry Potter at age seven. Yeah, my sister read Harry Potter at seven, I think. I think. I might be wrong. Um, who knows? Who knows? I mean, she knows. Pro- yeah, probably your <laughs> sister knows. <laughs> I don't know but, when um, I started reading Harry Potter, but I read the first the first few books quite quickly. And then when it got to like the Goblet of Fire and Order of the Phoenix, I kind of tailed off because they got like more words and more complicated and slower. And I was like, eh, it's boring. So I just watched the film. I haven't read more than like three pages of Harry Potter. Um, and that is acceptable. I've read the first three pages of the Harry Potter books. Of the first book, so. And that's okay. Um, in the States, um, that's called Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone? Yeah, you Here's call it the... the Sorcerer's Stone. We call it the Philosopher's Stone. Yeah, I don't know why there's a difference there. Um, I don't. Because we have philosophers know. in the States. Um, they do exist. Shout out to any yeah, American philosophers. So. <laughs> um... But I don't know why that's different. Because J.K. Rowling know. is... She's from Bristol. Um, oh, Yeet. near Bristol. Yeah, Yate. I never heard of Yate. It's a town, so... I've never heard sense. of Yate, and I live here. In... Not in uh, Yate. You don't live in Yate. I don't live in Yate. <laughs> never heard but of I Yate. <laughs> but I live in Yate. <laughs> um. I haven't heard of Yate. And I live in the country. I do not live Yate, in Yate. Yeah. Yate is a town in civil parish in South Gloucester. Gloucester? Glu- Gloucestershire. Is that right? Wait, what? Gloucestershire. No. <laughs> no? <laughs> Wait, hang on. Gloucestershire? Where are you getting this information? I looked up where is J.K. Yowling from, and it said uh, Rowling, not Yowling. J.K. Rowling. <laughs> Yowling. I looked, J- I, w- I looked up where where is J.K. Rowling from, and it says Yay, J.K. Rowling is Gloucestershire. Gloucestershire. <laughs> How are you pronouncing it again? Gloucestershire. It oh looked my like god! That. I really <laughs> hoped you didn't mean Gloucestershire. But that's, that's great that you pronounce <laughs> Gloucester, right? Gloucestershire. Gloucestershire. I mean, it looks like that. Tell me. I, yeah, I won't deny. But come on. The shears. I mean, I'm See, American. Gloucester, and then there's Gloucestershire. Tell. Yeah. Then it's probably that. <laughs> it looks like Gloucester. It does look like Gloucester. I will grant you that. Um, all your shirts here are stupid. <laughs> huh? Um, oh yeah. Oh. We've we've got York and Yorkshire. We just we're not original. We take a name of another place and just add sure and call it a day. Um, how many shirts are? Worcestershire. I don't actually know if that's a real place. Yeah, it is, I think. This is the uh, how how many shires? How many shire name? That's not what I asked Google. I didn't ask how many people. I asked how many shires there are. Bedfordshire, Berkshire, Buckinghamshire, Cambridgeshire. Cambridgeshire? <laughs> Ch- Cheshire, Derbyshire. Gloucestershire? How do you, how do I say? Gloucestershire. Gloucestershire. Hampshire. Herefordshire. Hertfordshire. Herefordshire. Hertfordshire. Huntingdonshire. Lancashire. Lincolnshire. Least. Lancastershire, or is it Lancaster? 
Lang Lancaster. <laughs> Lancaster? Lanka. It's L A N C A, sure. Um, Lincolnshire. Leicestershire. Oh, oh yeah, Link Le Lincolnshire. N uh right. oh North Northamptonshire, Nottinghamshire, yeah. Oxfordshire, Shropshire, Staffordshire. Wow, we really did just take the names of other places and add sure. Warwickshire, Wiltshire, Warch War Worcester, uh Yorkshire. Yeah. Wor Worcester does exist. Um Yay, Worcestershire. 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 West. I've West never Yorkshire? struggled to pronounce Worcestershire. Because you're British. <laughs> well, no, because British people also struggle. I'm just special. I'm not special. Oh. Um, there's also West Yorkshire and South Worcestershire. Have you heard Big Man try to pronounce Worcestershire sauce? He struggles. No. Oh. He's very British. Um, he is incredibly British. I can't wait for him to rant at you for your pronunciation of A, literature, and B, Gloucestershire. It looks like Gloucester, sure. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not denying it looks like Gloucester. Yeah. I just can't wait for Big Man to tell you that it doesn't. Oh, yeah. Um, you need to stop having so many countries. Counties, not countries. <laughs> we need to stop having so many countries in our country. <laughs> you need to stop having so many counties named Sure. Are they all sh Shires? All of our counties. Yeah, no, no. That, that can't be right. They no, be they're right. not all Shires. Oh, because you have like Just Essex most of them. Sussex. Yeah, and... <laughs> you've got Essex and Oxford and like... Actually, no, there's Oxfordshire. Yeah, yeah Oxfordshire. There's Oxfordshire. Oxford. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's like, oh yeah, Cornwall. Oh yeah. Wait, counties... Counties of England. I don't want to buy a poster for that. <laughs> there's... Exus, Essex, not like Exus. List... There's uh... Essex, Kent, Sussex. Never born or sure. As each represents a former Anglo-Saxon kingdom. Similar, similarly, Cornwall it was a British kingdom before it became an English county. Mm -hmm. Which I'm sure is not used in the names of the six traditional counties of Northern Ireland. So it's most counties except Essex, Kent, and Sussex. And Cornwall. What, no, and Devon, and oh, Somerset. Oh, Devon. And Kent, and Suffolk, and Norfolk. I said, I said, I said Kent. Oh, you said those? Um, okay. Dorset, Sussex. Rutland, Somerset. Or, or in Dorsetshire. Sorry. Greater London. Oh, yeah? Uh, Oxford. This is Hampshire. Too... Gloucestershire. Ooh. Wait, is that... No, that's Gloucester. Gloucestershire, I assume, is somewhere in Gloucester, then. Lincoln, Lancaster. How is there a shirt in a county? Is Derby. Shirt... I don't know. Uh, was that Stratford or Stafford? That's Stafford, I think. So I think what we're learning is that the shires are not actually the counties, unless the map I found was just incredibly wrong. Anyway, this is about literature. Why have we gone on to counties in the UK? That's the point of the podcast. Um, in the UK, you have counties, but in the states, we have states. Obviously, yes, states in the name. Um, how many counties are there? Do you know? Like off the top uh, of your head, don't Google it. What? No, of course I don't. Funny, because in the states, our whole thing is like there's fifty states. That's. There's 48 counties, according to Google. Huh. Weak. And I had to look that up. We don't know it off the top of our heads. Get two more, and then you have as many as the states kind of have. We'll just, um, we'll just split. You're also busy and... being... You're also busy being, like, the size of Illinois. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're small. There's no reason for it to be, like... We have counties in the states, but that... That's like well, that's too many subsections. Yeah, we have okay. So we have the country, we have states, yes. we have cities, we have counties, we have um. That's too uh, many subsections. And then we have school systems. You what? And that's that. I think that's as small as um, as small as you can get. A school system is within a county. Uh 
and like that's, that's really... kind of like what you call a town oh. so a school system is like there's like four or five schools so they're all kind of close to each other oh i see okay and the houses around that area of the schools. So how many schools determines how big the like town is then? Kind of. Okay. I feel like you'd, if you've got states, I feel like you don't need counties within the states. You can just have cities and towns. Yeah, I mean... But go off, I guess. We have cities, and then within cities there's counties. What? That's not how that Our definition... Works. Our definition of counties is much different from your definition of counties. Sounds which is weird. Up. Yeah, because like, give me a random county. Can't random British. Wait, from UK. County. Yeah. Oh, uh, Devon. Uh, Devon. Okay. How many cities are in Devon? A lot, probably. Um. Uh, let me find out how. Eh, how many? There's Ex Exeter, Exeter, huh? Exeter, yeah. Dar Dartmouth. Uh, Dartmouth. Devon has two cities. Okay. Exeter and Plymouth. Plymouth. E okay. Forty-five towns. Yeah, your ci your cities are in your. Yeah. I mean, you're always gonna have lots of villages. We're in England. Yeah. Um, yes, we're England. <laughs> Beer is a village and civil parish in the East Devon district of Devon, England. So Wait, you just have a place called Beer. 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 <laughs> yeah. How is that spelled? Is it spelled like the drink? Yep. <laughs> All right then. They've got beaches. The... Want to go to want to want to go to Beer? How far is that from us? Very far, probably. Uh, I go to Devon like camping a lot. It's quite far. Yeah. But I mean, we could. I mean, Cornwall beer is Cornwall is beer, a great place. Beer has a population of one thousand three hundred and seventeen. Shout out to those one thousand three hundred and seventeen people living in beer, England. <laughs> <laughs> it looks beautiful. Yeah, it's just a funny name. Um, it is a funny name. A lot of our names are not very creative in England, to be fair, as we've discussed with the Shires. And then we've also got like uh, Scratford on Avon and like Stoke on Trent. Like, yeah. just name it a different thing. <laughs> your your country is very like literal because it's so yeah. old. Yeah. Like We're just every. Old. Yeah. Like even like if you look at like British last names, they're like nouns. <laughs> like, yeah. Or well, they're really really boring. Yeah, like British last names. Like like the generic British name, like John Smith, yeah. I think, yeah. Yeah, Smith, Jones, Taylor, Brown, Williams, Wilson, yep. Johnson, Davies. Just all really boring. And then some of them, Hill. <laughs> Hill, that's just that's just a noun. <laughs> and then there's like ones that are like um, like what their job was in the town. Mm. Like Smith is comes from blacksmith. Walker, yeah. I don't know where that comes from. Clark, you walk William. dogs. Want to know the top ten girls and boys' name in England and Wales? Not really, because it's just gonna you be make, depressing. You, you make the top ten. Uh... Olivia, um, Amelia, and Lily, Isla. Isla, Ava, Isabella, Lily, Jessica, Ella, Tut. and then tenth is Mia. You're right there. I have known all all of I have known almost all of those names. Like I have known have you not known at least hmm? Have you you know do, do you know an Olivia? Uh I did, yeah. Do you know an Amelia? Because we have one in our class. Do you know an Emily? Uh I think Emily might be the only one I haven't known. Alright. You know an Iowa? Yep. See that's funny because I that's not a common name in the states. Like I've I never known Isla. Isla. I love the name here. Yeah, I love the name Isla. It's a really pretty name. Oh, this is for birth she recorded in 2016. Okay, this makes sense. Oh, <laughs> um, Ava, I know an Ava. Uh, you probably I know one. I think I pro yeah I think I did know an Ava. Oh, top ten boys: Oliver, Harry, George, Jack, Jacob, Noah, Charlie, Muhammad. Uh, Thomas and Oscar. 
I have known less of those, but I have known a lot of them. Yeah. I think we so have all of those, those at our people, school. You have boring names. No, you don't. It's fine. Yep. They're all fine names. That's funny how common they are. Yeah, I wasn't... I didn't know that Isla was a surprise. I didn't expect Isla to be very common. Yeah. I like... I really like the name Isla. Um, it's, it's... Yeah. It makes sense that it's definitely a younger name. Um, yeah. Because I feel like I know young... I know of younger children that are named Isla. Yeah, the Isla I know is much younger than me. Um, but it's a cute name. It is a nice name. Shout out to all the Islas. I think I'm one of like 69 Aubreys born in the year I was born. You, you've you said that many times. I wonder if you were the 69th. Probably not. No, there were months after my birthday. Yeah. It's a, it's a, oh, in the States, not in, like, the world. There, there's probably more than 69. Aubrey's in the world. Yeah. Born in the year I was. Um. Try to think. What should we go on to? We've been talking for 45 minutes, so I'm probably yeah. already up 30, 30, high 20s, low 30s, editing. Yeah. Um. You said that those were in, like, England and Wales. Yeah. Because Wales can't be its own thing. It's always England and Wales. It's never England, Scotland, and Wales. Yeah. Uh, Is Scot- common, Does... common names in Wales. Is there a parliament in Wales? Like, do they have their own parliament? I don't actually know. Because I know Scotland has their own parliament. I've been there. I've been to England, our England Parliament. I've never been to Welsh Parliament because I don't know if it exists. Wait, all of those, almost all of the names on the list you gave me are on the Wales list as well. Huh. I'm number seven on the Welsh one. Heh. <laughs> You're number ten in the. We've got British. Olivia, Amelia, Isla, English. Rosie, Ava, Lily, Mia, Ella, Willow, and Freya. Again, I have known a lot of people with those names. Willow is a beautiful name. Willow is a very nice name. But it'll, I will never fail to think of my friend's dog. Oh, yeah. That would do it. Um, yeah. I think baby names are like a great topic. Because like, yeah. they're all so different. But so many are so interesting. I mean, I feel like names might be getting shorter. Like, there's less of... Yeah. Your name is... Your full name is Benjamin and your nickname is Ben. I think a lot of people just name their kids Ben now. Yeah. I mean, England also does this thing. My family has noticed it. Um, any Any person with, like, more than three syllables in their name either has a nickname or gets asked if they have a nickname. <laughs> just because we can't be bothered to say another name. No, just like the three syllable rule. Like it sounds too formal, I feel like. Hmm. So British people don't like especially in schools, I don't feel like this is gonna happen in the workplace. Like if you show up with like the name Benjamin, they're gonna be like, Do you have a nickname for that? Um like but, William. Yeah. So many so many people are called Will Bill, I don't feel like there's a I don't understand how Bill is a nickname for Will. Like, I don't know. Where did the bean come from? I don't. Well, yeah, where did it come but that's from? Also, where did that's it go? That's also like how Peggy is a nickname for Margaret. Like, where did you what? get the P? Where what? did you get the Y? Did... <laughs> Peggy? Peggy is a nickname about... for Margaret. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know why. I, I did not know that. You I didn't? did not know that. No. I am so glad you didn't oh my know God. that before because it's awful. <laughs> That's shocking. <laughs> yeah, wait, hang on. Uh, there are a bunch of other names with really, really random nicknames. Um, but, like, so many British names have, like, three syllables, but then they get nicknames. Shortened. Also, people often, like, 
give someone a nickname without asking. Like, they'll just assume, like, your name is Benjamin, they'll just call you Ben. Maybe you don't want to be called Benjamin, uh, Ben, but they'll call you it anyway. But yeah, British baby names, like, a lot of them have three syllables, but then they're just shortened by teachers yeah. and things, because it sounds too formal. Um, but Unless you're, like, wrong with the, the queen, queen and you're, like, Elizabeth. But That's even uh, then, Lizzie like, Beth. some people will call her Queen Lizzie. <laughs> Tommy and I called her Queen Lizzie. No one else does. <laughs> <laughs> True. Um, Although there's also, yeah, like, like, Queen Bess. Like, uh, Bess. There are so many different nicknames for Elizabeth. Like, there's Eliza, Lizzie, uh, Liz, Ella, Beth. Ella, Ella. Ella. There's also, there's also a surprising amount of nicknames for Amelia, like Millie. That's so that's what yeah. I didn't expect. Uh, I did know others, but I can't remember them now. <laughs> and yet there are names where they'll call them Peggy for no reason. <laughs> oh my god, I, it, I can't it believe that's me. true. I can't it believe is... that's true. That sounds wrong. How is uh... it the na- same name? Well, let me let me check because I'm pretty sure that's true. Peggy nickname for Margaret. Yeah, Peggy is short for Margaret. Wait, what? Wait. Margaret was short for like, for- Meg or Meggie. Yeah. See, that makes a little more sense. And somehow Meggie turned into Peggy. All right. Um. <laughs> the, the language, and moving back to- it sucks. Yeah. Yeah, looping back around to literature, um, and the book I'm reading, Aristotle and Dante, I love both of those names. They're both great names. They're really um, good names. Yeah. They're, they're nice to, like, they're just nice to say. Aristotle. Yeah. Aristotle. And then in, in the book, he turns it to Ari. Yeah. That's a nice nickname for Aristotle. Yeah. That's a that's a good excuse to be called Ari. Yeah, that's a really I love the name Ari, but I never name a kid Ari, but I would name a kid Aristotle and call them Ari. Um Yeah. Cause Ari not sounds that like I'm... a nickname or a dumb name for anything. But then when you say, Oh no, my full name is Aristotle, it instantly becomes better. Yeah. I wouldn't not that I'm naming children on a daily basis, but <laughs> I like the name. <laughs> we just we just go around renaming some of the reception kids. Sometimes it's fine. <laughs> um, but I just there are names that I love. Yeah. Um, and it's not like I'm pregnant or having children anytime soon. But I like looking at. But baby if you names were to or, name a child, if I were to name a child, there are some if great you were names in out said there. Position. Yeah, there are some really nice names. There are some really nice Welsh names, I think. Or they might be Irish, I don't know. There are just some nice names. I mean, Wales... Wales gets away with a lot of just, like, throw some letters together and maybe it's a name. Um, Wales gets away with a lot of throw some letters together and maybe it's a word. Yeah. (laughs) Have you you seen the longest word in, um... Yes. Yes. Yeah, you have? It makes no sense. Yeah. (laughs) Only the last bit is pronounced how it should be. (laughs) <laughs> go, go, go. go 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 it's like it even th- it's... even then it's g o c h so it really should be yeah go, so go, it should go, be go 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 the go 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 or go 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah but instead of like nah there was also like um like the word kutch in welsh which means hug it's spelt with a w which makes a little more what? sense Huh? Yeah, the word kutch in Welsh. It's C-W-T-C-H, I think. There's a W somewhere. That... Uh, kutch. Kutch meaning. Yeah, it means to hug. C-W-T-C-H. Yeah. I guess that makes yeah. sense because the W turns into a double U. Like, yeah, two so it makes a little more sense. I'm just used to W being either like how we do the W sound or double V. Which it, where it's double V. Yeah. Languages like to do whatever they want with W. Like, yeah. writing is weird. Writing is weird. We've come back around to literature. Language writing is, really is weird. weird. 
language is weird. Writing is weird. Have a good day.